We are Vincent Abel Contracting from Louisville, Kentucky, and we're going to install a load bearing steel beam. About 250 pounds. Are you ready? One, two, three. Right, come on. There you go. Yeah. Now get your board across here. 55 BC. That's good. Not exactly a new problem, huh? Walls here are just walls that are just uh, temporary walls to support the bearing uh, bearing uh, floor above. These joists here are connected here. This is where the bearing wall was. It's been removed and this is all temporary right here. You ready to go with it, Sean? Ready. Come to me. Oh, good. That's good. Uh, You in there good? Yeah. I'm going to mess that screen and the path out of it. I've got to cut these real short. Um, all right, let's just take the... It's got to go back that way. There it is. That's good. All right. Okay, now we got to go up. Looks like an inch and a half on each end. With a box? Or you want to yeah, use give me a... Uh, Cut me a three and a half by three and a half two by block. While they're finishing up here in the living room, uh, setting that still beam, making a few adjustments, we're going to go over to the next room, uh, moving into the uh, kitchen and dining area. Uh, you can see uh, we put another steel beam in here. This is about a 10-foot span. Uh, took out a load-bearing wall. There used to be a laundry room. You can see in the floor uh, where it used to be. And uh, put the steel beam in uh, to open this up into one large uh, eat-in kitchen area. Uh, we'll put some drywall around the beam and uh, you won't ever see it. This is the finished uh, view of the uh, living area, living room. Uh, you can see the steel beam is encased with drywall. We've got some crown molding around it as well. Uh, this is the view uh, looking uh, from the kitchen into the dining area. And then vice versa, looking uh, from dining into kitchen. We are Vincent Abel Contracting. Uh, we thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you soon. Take care.